The era of the copper landline phone in California may be coming to an end. AT&T has applied to no longer hold the designation of carrier of last resort in the state, which is a legal requirement to provide access to phone service to anyone who requests it within their territory. But what does that mean and why are many rural residents worried? Here's why. Miles out of the city of Paso Robles, hummingbirds gather each day around feeders Robert Lawrence has in his front courtyard. The peace and quiet offers a serene hum. But with this little slice of heaven, Robert tells me lies an issue. We're dependent on a landline for all of our telecommunications. His home in the spring, it's really beautiful. Along with many others in the surrounding rural area, have little access to internet and hardly any cell service. So we could put up there, but the uh, the opportunities are really tough because you got to get power up there. It's like ten thousand bucks to put a tower up there with a solar system. That, Lawrence says, is too cost prohibitive. And they once upon a time installed a copper wire all the way to our house and they didn't do it because it was profitable. They did it because they were required to. But there could be a problem on the other end of the line. AT&T is proposing to the California Public Utilities Commission, or the CPUC, that they no longer be carrier of last resort, or COLR. COLRs ensure California residents have access to basic phone services. If approved, no phone company would be required to serve the population under consideration. And now to be able to shut that off, presumably on the assumption that people have cell phone service and don't need it, is a, is a challenge for us. The highlighted blue on this map shows the area in which AT&T proposed to no longer be the COLR across the state. In San Luis Obispo County, it's nearly the entire area. This could be a major issue, says Tracy Ryan with Rural County Representatives of California. Catastrophic wildfire, mudslides, flooding, these are areas that um, we'll see, see these kind of natural disasters more often. These are areas that really need to have reliable service, reliable communication services for evacuation notices. Scott Jalbert with Slow County Emergency Services says the upgrading of technology moving away from copper will ultimately be beneficial with more services offered like internet and VoIP, which is voice over internet protocol, but the access to backup means of communication is essential. For us, it's important that residents have a backup communication system. We're all very reliant on cell phones, and when cell phones go down, it's nice to have that secondary means of communication. An AT&T representative tells me they are working to upgrade a traditional copper-based phone service to newer technologies like fiber and wireless, but they could not confirm who would pay for the upgrades. The statement reads in part, we are not canceling landline service in California and none of our California customers will lose access to voice service if the CPUC approves our application. We're working to transition the few remaining consumers who still use traditional copper-based phone service to upgrade to newer technologies from us or other providers. An AT&T representative tells me about 7% of their customers in California still use copper-based landlines. For those hanging on to landlines, their last time hanging up could be in the foreseeable future. And if you want your voice heard on this matter, there are three public participation hearings left, two of which are in person only, and one of them is in Ukiah, which is a city in Mendocino County of just 16,000 people, and that's about two hours north of San Francisco. That's happening on February 22nd. Only one of them is virtual, but you can also submit public comment. That information will be on KSBY.com.